good morning or good afternoon, depending on what part of the world you're in. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie, Susie Gemini, but just please call me Susie. I spent most of yesterday working on a Mercury retrograde video that I had wanted to do for my wonderful subscribers. And I will get to that in a minute. I have some housekeeping in a minute. And it was terrible. I had so much, basically the Mercury shadow period difficulties. Uh, I would be filming and my camera would act up. Um, my computer was giving me grief. And I tried to spend a few hours last night editing it. Editing it. See, I can't speak. I was trying to edit it. And it just wasn't coming together. And so I thought, I want to be clear about what is Mercury Retrograde. So welcome back. And we're going to talk about that this morning. Uh, first, my housekeeping. I want to thank each and every one of you who subscribed and liked my video. It, it really meant the world to me. The comments were so warm, supportive. Makes me almost just want to tear up. I mean, it, 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 it meant everything to me. So thank you for your support. And I'm really happy to have you back and welcome anybody who is new. So basically the topic for this video is Mercury Retrograde. And another reason I'm doing this at 3.38 or whatever it is in the morning is Mercury is going to station tomorrow, January 14th basically starting its retrograde period. And I want to talk about how that will affect each and every one of us. Now, let's talk about what is retrograde. We throw that term around, don't we? And some of us might just say it, but not really think about what it means. Is astrology is our vantage point from Earth. So when we're looking up at Mercury with our naked eye, retrograde, all it means is an optical illusion. It literally looks like Mercury is moving backwards in the sky. Or some astrologers, astrologers say dancing backwards. Now, that has a lot of symbology in astrology because over the centuries astrologers have noticed that when mercury goes retrograde things happen like what happened to me yesterday computer you know malfunctions etc so we need to be prepared for this and there is an upside to mercury retrograde and i'll discuss that in a moment First of all, another mess up, I'm cleaning up my housekeeping, is when I did my introduction video and I talked about what we're going to be learning, I left out probably one of my favorite parts of astrology, the planets themselves. I cannot believe I did that, but let me tell you uh, what the planets represent. They are the energies that drive the chart, but a better way, that the way I view them, is their archetypes. Now I'm going to have a quick sip of coffee. Thank you. Okay, so who is Mercury? I'm going to refer to Mercury as he for the sake of this video. Mercury is the one planet that has masculine and feminine energy. So we're just going to refer to Mercury as he. 
and his orbit around the sun is about 88 days. He goes retrograde three times a year, sometimes four. 2022, he will be retrograding four times. Now, in another video when we talk about rulership, I'll get more into detail. But what does Mercury rule? Lots of things. And we need to be prepared for that. Communication. Okay, communication. We need to be prepared that how we communicate is going to be affected between January 14th, even now, shadow period, uh, to February 5th. And he is the messenger. Some of us uh, consider him the messenger god. And that's a, a great assessment. Uh, he also rules, think about his name, Mercury. Uh, Mer Mercury, like merchant, trade. Uh, he is the patron of travel. Do you see how uh, so many things in our lives could be disrupted. Uh, let's see, I wrote a few notes, bear with me, because I did not want to leave out things. He rules schooling, education, siblings. So we may have a communication with a sibling uh, that we must be careful with. Uh, cousins, journalism. You know, they astrologers have noticed sometimes during Mercury retrograde, the media maybe puts out a story that has misinformation. And I'm not talking like political or anything like that. Maybe they get a fact wrong and they have to write a retraction. Um, he also rules dexterity. And that goes back to his, his birth story. Uh, let's see what else. I didn't want to miss anything, guys. So, oh. God of thievery, uh, commercial success. I think we kind of touched on that. And he's the, the one planet or God or archetype that can go between all the worlds. It literally, he basically, he leads souls to the underworld. And I've heard astro astrologers say, and I, I couldn't find a lot of information on this, so if there's a subscriber that wants to comment, and let me know. And he literally brings us our dreams. So let's talk about when I, I said January 14th to February 5th, he will station Aquarius, 10 degrees Aquarius air to Capricorn 24. Now he's going to be having interactions with other planets. So this is going to get really interesting. And Mercury can also affect even the stock market. He can destabilize the stock market. And if anybody has a question or a comment, you want more specifics about any of this, please let me know. So think about air, idea, then at the end, Capricorn, Earth, that's sort of applying that idea. Now, that may not make a lot of sense, but I'm going to try to give you some successful advice. I didn't take my own advice yesterday, did I? Uh, well, actually, I did because I didn't post that, that all those clips and videos and all that. Mercury retrograde gives us an opportunity to reevaluate things. Say you want to launch a business, but you have to get that, that website up during the retrograde period, if you think about it, maybe, you know, a week or two ago, 
you would have whipped out that website, got it running. Well, during retrograde, it, it would behoove you to take some extra time. I'll give you an example of what could happen. You put up a beautiful website. You, you launch it. And all of a sudden, nobody's contacting you. You think it, it was going to go viral in the first 48 hours. You go back and look at your website. The contact information is messed up. Okay, another example. You must see Aunt Lily in Philadelphia. You have to go help her out for a month. You pack your suitcase, you get to the airport, and you're going to Philly, and you watch the person working behind the luggage, the check-in, and they mark your bag for Dallas, and you catch it. You see how that would feel? You get to Philadelphia, double check, double check. Another thing that can benefit us in, in Mercury Retrograde is think about all the times where we do a quick text or email and we send it off and then we go foot in mouth. Take time. Write that email. Write that text. Double check it. Another thing that happens in Mercury Retrograde, not fun, is your car may need to be serviced. Something could break. Your computer, you know, may go down on you. But I'll give you an example about the car. You've been putting it off. Money's tight. You absolutely take it in. And you're upset during Mercury Retrograde. I don't have a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. And this is going to hurt. And But you go ahead and do it anyways because you need your vehicle. You pay the service people, and they say, thank goodness you came in. It's good that light on the panel went out, and it was bothering you, because your brakes were about to fail. Do you see how Mercury could have a silver lining? Or your coffee maker that goes out on you, and you really don't want to have to go to the store, Walmart, or Target, or wherever you shop to get a coffee maker but you go out you get it and sure enough as you're throwing out your old one you see there was an electrical fray so you may have put out money for that coffee maker the new one but you may have saved your house or your kitchen from burning down so I am gonna say heads up I'm gonna take my own advice and just, I'm going to mind my text, my words. I'm going to double check anything I do with communication twice. And we will get through this. If anybody has questions, please feel free uh, to leave them. And yesterday, one of the things I spent about an hour on, and I am not a good storyteller, and I can say that. Um, with confidence, it, it wasn't pretty, is yes, I wanted to tell you the birth story of Mercury and in Arcadia. And if you're really curious, please leave a comment and I will try to do a follow-up video just saying uh, Mercury mythology. Uh, if you'd like me to do that. If not, there's plenty of resources on the internet or in books or even artwork. I got a wonderful book for $1.50 at the thrift store on uh, mythology. And Mercury's actually in there. One more sip of coffee and some housekeeping. I should add that Mercury also rules Gemini in Virgo. And as you know, I'm a Gemini Sun and Virgo Ascendant. And when I throw those terms out, like Virgo Ascendant, some of us may not know what that means. So here's my housekeeping. Is this weekend, I'm going to put my heart and soul 
into what I call basic 101 astrology. I'm going to try to make it easy for us. Um, I'm going to explain the basics, everything we need to know to read our chart. Then I can get feedback and anything I've missed or questions will get rolling on reading our own chart. And I'm even getting some software today so I can share my screen. And that's going to be fun to do during Mercury Retrograde, isn't it? But I'm going to work on it. And hopefully sometime in the middle of next week, I will have a thorough, thorough video. And in the meantime, you can always contact me at my email or leave me a comment. Now, I have a, a, a subscriber, Astro Atif. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, he did a wonderful post. He's an astrologer. In fact, I have several astrologers there are subscribers and beginners, and I'm somewhat in the middle. He did a post, the beautiful uh, photograph of doors and doorways and art. And I told him, and I didn't pull the card. See, Mercury Retrograde. I was going to pull a card from this deck, Divine Doors. And I didn't even do that on those videos I did yesterday. So let's start our day. Wherever you are in the world, I'm going to shuffle. And this deck, by the way, is adorable. It, it packs a punch. It really uh, gives me messages that are on point. So I'm, gonna, I'm not the best shuffler. Um, and I actually won this deck. Divine Doors and its Rock Pool uh, from Kin's Weights and Tarot. And I mentioned in my uh, about me on my astrology channel that I'm a big fan of Oracle and I incorporate it, incorporate it every day in my practice. I pull a card. And if you guys want to have me pull a card, you know, in each video, you can tell me that. Or maybe I'll just do it once in a while. And some of you are on my Facebook or Instagram. And Instagram is just Gemini Susie. I think I have the other account at Susie Gemini that I'd set up one time. But somehow Instagram put me at Gemini Susie. And that's where I post. On Facebook, you can contact me, Susie Gemini. Anyways. That's, a lot of you know I post oracle cards. So let's see. Well, first of all, this is our doorway. I had that upside down. Sorry about the glare. And I pulled Silent Skill. Oh, we have a challenge. I challenge you to unpack your mind. In meditation's grace, the soul can unwind. Breathe in. Well, that's a breathe out. It says breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. And that really rings true for me because, boy, I was doubting myself yesterday. And two of you uh, were lovely because I had told you guys that I was going to post yesterday. It didn't. And you responded with a lot of support and now I feel really good today so silent skill let let's unpack our minds as we start mercury retrograde and we'll probably feel it like I did yesterday we'll feel it today so just just take a little extra time for your communication messages travel plans lock lock all your doors and car doors and houses with that mercury retrograde uh that he's the patron of thieves that's another thing we need to think about and uh just be prepared for disruptions but the silver lining is we may catch something that in the long run will serve us brightest blessings everyone
Thank you.